Uh, we have reported extensively on the families who lost loved ones in the crash of Flight 3407. Well, you may have heard they just suffered a big setback when it comes to one of the most important safety provisions that they helped push through Congress. There was just a vote to roll back rules on pilot training. Tonight we have a closer look and how this really affects everyone who flies. You could make a strong argument that the skies are safer right now than ever before. The numbers speak for themselves. Here are the numbers. From 1990 to 2010, we had more than 1,100 deaths in passenger airline accidents in this country, the last of which was the Colgan crash in Clarence. The 3407 families started a mission, trip after trip after trip to Washington, D.C. to lobby lawmakers. They helped pass through tough air safety standards in 2010. And since then, we haven't had a single death in a passenger plane accident. The before and after of this safety record could not be starker. The families say training is key. Pilot error is what caused the crash that killed their loved ones. The families successfully got past a requirement that any pilot must have 1,500 hours of cockpit training from an accredited school or the military. We're asking the Senate and the Congress to leave it alone, let it be eight years, no accidents. Lawmakers left it alone in the FAA reauthorization bill released earlier this week. But then the Senate Commerce Committee met. The chairman, a Republican from South Dakota, said he's worried regional air carriers can't find enough pilots. So he introduced an amendment allowing classroom and other training to substitute flying experience to hit that 1500 hour requirement. This proposal expands potential training course eligibility to include similar structured and discipline training. Democrats aren't buying that. Senator Tammy Duckworth is a former military pilot. Your amendment, Mr. Chairman, would bring us back to those early days when there was a lot of blood. But the amendment passed right along party lines. Despite that, the Western New York delegation is united in opposition, rare bipartisanship. You mess with this, we will mess with you. We're going to have to fight this in the Senate, and uh, you know I'm going to be making my, my words known to the White House as well. And we know Congressman Collins is close with the president. In addition to those two Republican House members, Democratic U.S. Senator Charles Schumer has basically said that he'll do whatever he can to block this rollback of the training requirement. Presumably that would include him filibustering this bill should it ever make it to the Senate floor. We will, of course, keep you posted.